Good morning, everybody. So this video is an extremely uh, special video and important video. A few weeks ago or even months ago, I made a video mentioning about a project that was going on here in El Nido to help feed the families that are struggling, that can't afford food, can't afford uh, their electricity bills during this time of COVID since here El Nido, it's pretty much 100% tourism. So pretty much the whole town is out of work. I made that video quickly just to try and raise some money and help out. And you guys actually donated $5,000, which is a huge amount, especially here in the Philippines. I honestly didn't imagine that so many people would donate so much money. I was hoping at best maybe a couple of hundred dollars, but you guys donated $5,000, which yeah, it's just unbelievable. And just to let you guys know, that actually allowed them to continue for an extra month. That is a month of food, 6,000 meals, 300 people a day on average. So yeah, a huge amount of meals and it allowed them to continue for another month. So I thought it'd be great to actually show the place, um, show what you've donated towards and uh, yeah, just show what's going on. The, the people arriving, the cooking, just show the, the whole thing so that you can see what you donated towards. So the fortunate news is that we were able to increase the amount of time that this continues. The unfortunate part is obviously the money does eventually run out. So I think currently they only have about 15 or 16 days of funds to continue. But yeah, I'm hoping maybe this video can be shared and we can raise more money. So once again, I'm with my sidekick, Carol. Yeah, so it's 10 a.m. now and uh, we're going there to see them cooking. They're going to start preparing their things to cook and we're going to check them out. Yeah, I think at 12 o'clock the it's the first serving yeah it's the first serving yeah. so yeah we'll see what they're cooking over there handing out free face masks to the children and they've started serving now so people have to queue up here to get the food and these are some of the volunteers that are helping out A lot of people, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well organized though. Yeah, it is. And there is a lot of food. You see the, the plates? Healthy food. Yeah, yeah. Lots of vegetables, fish. Uh, yeah, we could fish. Eat that. <laughs> yeah that, that's what we eat. Yeah. So, yeah, it's just awesome giving them healthy food also. Yeah. For yeah. free. It's very nice. A lot of children. So, all these children here being given free face masks. Got elderly as well. So they also have this seating area at the top, over here. So got a few families sitting here as well. Hello. So they also put out some tables and chairs outside to try and uh, keep the social distancing. So there's a few people sat out here as well eating. 
At dinner time, a lot more people come. It's already quite busy in there, but I think more people come for dinner. People are going to keep coming over the next two hours, and then I think they come later at 5 p.m. or something. Uh -huh. But they also said that they never, uh, whenever people ask for food, they, they will provide. If they need to cook more, they will cook more. They don't want to say no to people who need food to eat, so... Yeah, so to just give you an idea, it's 41 pesos, more or less, per person that arrives. And that's including that person maybe going back and asking for another full dish of food. So it can be even like two meals. That's also including the price of like electricity, the salaries for the Filipino workers, gas, all the other costs. So all the costs that go into serving one person is 41 pesos, which obviously for a Westerner is not not a lot at all, really. Yeah, it's, it's uh, a dollar, less than, less than a dollar. Yeah, less than a dollar and you can give them like two meals, pretty much everyone. Like Carol said, they don't refuse anyone. So um, yeah, just every little helps. We actually just donated $200 once again. And that's almost a full day a full of food day, yeah. for, for everyone. So how, how many meals is in a day? Like 250, 300 meals. Yeah. So around $200, that will at least increase um, one extra day. So just to give you an idea, because when we made the video last time, we didn't really know the value of anything. So now we know. Yeah. Lots of children though, right? Yeah, I think the majority are children. Yeah, and I think some of the families, they actually send their children here, right, to eat. Uh -huh. But they don't come, they just send the kids. Yeah, only the kids, yeah. In the beginning, it was mainly only children, that, that uh, families would send the children, right? The most important ones to them. But I think with time, um, even the adults had to start coming because they were like struggling and stuff. As I mentioned at the start, a lot of the families don't have electricity anymore because they can't pay the bills, so it's been cut. So a lot of the families have been like that for, for quite a while now, for months. I mean, the lockdown was since March, so... Um, yeah, that's just what's going on here. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello. Good food? Yeah. Very good? <laughs> Hello. Enjoying? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Hello, ma'am. Yes, sir. Very, very good food? Yes, sir. Very good? Okay. Thank you. No problem. Hello. <laughs> What's your name? Your name? Your name? What was it? Yisrael. Yisrael. What, what about your name? What? Gypsy. <laughs> Gypsy. My name's Chris. Chris. Christopher. Yeah. <laughs> Is the food good? Yes. Good food? Very delicious. Where do you live? You live in Kalan? This the, over here? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So it's pretty much ending here now. The queue is about to end, just the final children. And they also offer water here for free. I think they said they go through 12 a day? Yeah, they get a lot of water. Yeah, this is, each one of these is loads of water. So yeah, 12 of these every day. So they're providing that also. So that's it for this video. You obviously saw how much of a good cause this is for those of you that donated as well. That's what's going on. And once again, just, yeah, a big thank you. Hopefully we can still raise more money so this can continue because as I said at the start of the video, I think they only have funds for about 15, 16 days. So they do need um, more investment, continual investment because the season's about to start again, right? Yeah, and tourism isn't coming back. And no. 
like the same level that it was before so we we think these people will still need some aid and food is the main uh, necessity so that's why we are trying to help them because uh, and we, we can see that it's like a proper project and they they are really wanting to help the people from the area so yeah that's why we we are making this video and trying to help and yeah, like Chris said, a big thanks for the ones that donated or the ones that uh, are sharing the video and If you can't donate, it would be very helpful if you can share this video because obviously that increases the chances of other people being able to donate and also all the money that this video makes, we will be donating to the communal pot as well that's what we did in the other video that we made that one didn't get shared so much but hopefully this one yeah we can get it shared more so yeah even more donations and it can continue on and a lot of the families there are very big families right like yeah. eight people loads of children so yeah people just can't really afford this right now and um yeah the season's supposed to start in november which is right around the corner and that that isn't happening so it looks like they're not going to have another tourism season by the looks of it and even if they do it's going to be very slow so um, yeah they just really need help it's sad but also happy that stuff like this is being done so yeah just thanks for watching the video um, hopefully you enjoyed seeing the nice things that people are doing around here and we'll see you around see you guys